I can start very briefly with my story because I think that explains how I ended up to be where I am. So I was very overweight my whole childhood. And that looked like I was around 300 pounds when I was 17. So right around like high school. And I had been overweight my whole life. And so I had tried a lot of diets. I was always trying to lose weight, but nothing ever stuck. And I just kind of got through my whole childhood saying, it's not a problem and I'm fine and I don't want to deal with it. And I didn't want to look at it or even admit that it was a thing. I went on a diet in college and that was the first time that it was motivated from me. And so what I did was just follow all the rules that I was always told, eat less and exercise more. And that was it. And so I lost 150 pounds, 130-ish pounds that way in an extremely unhealthy, extremely rapid, extreme diet kind of way. And so that at the time I thought was where the story would end, that I would just like lose 150 pounds and live happily ever after the way that everyone dreams it will. And so at the end of my weight loss, I was pretty sick and I couldn't figure out like what was wrong with me physically. And so I started going to a lot of different doctors because at that point, every time I stood up, I was seeing black spots and I was like very dizzy all the time. My hair was falling out. I was freezing all of the time. And ultimately I lost my period. And so that was like a sign to a nutritionist that I spoke to who explained to me that actually I was in starvation mode and my body was now unable to lose weight because I had been dieting so extremely that I was now starving and malnourished. And I had to reverse the damage if I ever wanted to recover my body, if I ever wanted to get my period again, if I wanted to have kids, if I wanted to grow my hair back for health, I had to start eating more and exercising less. And so it just became this kind of like battle between what do I do? Eat more, eat less, work out more, work out less. And at that point, I had to really ask the question, how do I live in this body? How do I feed this body for the rest of my entire life? All I've ever done is eat too much or eat too little. How am I supposed to do this? And so that launched me into a lot of research and asking a lot of questions. And why is it that 98% of people who go on a diet gain it back? Because what I kept experiencing was the more I tried to eat a little bit more, I just kept eating uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. And then I would go back on some sort of diet and try to manage it. So I was doing that thing where, you know, lose 10, gain 15. Mm -hmm. And my weight was slowly coming back on. And I knew that if I didn't figure it out, I would be over 300 pounds again. That's when it became about solving the problem, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And I also found John Gabriel through all the research I was doing. And basically one thing led to another that it became really clear to me, diets will never work long-term. They always work, they just can't end. And that's where people get confused. And I couldn't live on a diet. I was sick from dieting. So I had to really figure that out. And I think I had a very extreme post-diet experience because I was so overweight to begin with. And most people don't hit that wall. Most people don't hit starvation and malnourishment. So they don't have to ever really consider, well, how am I supposed to eat without the diet? So that's where I started doing a lot of these kind of mind body techniques. I started meditating, I started visualizing. I was going to therapy. I would journal. I was really getting into the emotional component of myself as a human being Mm -hmm. and started to really see that it was all connected. And for me, if I feel my feelings, I don't eat them. Mm -hmm. And if I eat them, I don't feel them. And so I just started to kind of bypass the whole diet, weight loss, distraction, and really focus on my mental, emotional, spiritual, social health. The amazing thing that I found was the more I did that, the more I just focused on taking care of myself, the less that I I stopped getting on a scale. I haven't weighed myself in years. And so the more that I kind of treated all dieting with abstinence, like I'm not getting on a scale, I'm not counting calories. I refuse to kind of go down that path anymore. And the more that I refused to entertain it, the more my weight slowly came back down and was able to maintain itself. So it just became really abundantly clear to me over time that the diet mentality is really a distraction. It's an illusion of control. The truth is your body and your mind and your soul are a system. And we just need alignment really to understand what's actually going on.